Hey guys, I'm Pure's back with another map editor tutorial. Um, today it's one day after update 1.30, so 1.30, which is stupid, but okay. Uh, the update itself is really awesome. Last update was a bit less awesome, but still really useful in combination with uh, this update. So, the new things that we have in this update, which you probably already noticed if you uh, are making maps, are circles and color custom grounds. You can both color these, and as you can see, if you, uh, if I duplicate this one more, you get a dick, but I'll remove that for now. So yeah, it's in some some cases it's really bad, but in other cases it's really it's possible to make really nice maps now. Okay, um, so let's go over the new features. There is let's place the base grounds. Um, you can make these grounds dynamic, just like other grounds, round ones. So you have a ball, a really big ball now, and you can color them. Which if you see here, you see here a color code. Which you can find colors at this place, so you can. Uh, this is uh, colorpicker.com. Really handy uh, if you want to have some variety in colors. You can make this a color and then you can make it dynamic or whatever you want. So, yeah, that's one thing, and you can do the same thing with this. And that's basically really useful. And if, if you notice, um, uh, the selection tool has also changed a bit. And uh, if you select a piece of ground, it will now uh, light up instead of glow around it, which is really handy. And if you uh, have something selected, it's brighter. And when you click it, then it will come, uh, become see-through. And so you can see if there's grounds behind it, which is really useful. I've already used this a lot. I've already made a lot of art maps, which you can now make, because this is like a color custom ground. So yeah, this is both the ground, and uh, you can also use it as a background. Uh, how do you use it as a background? Which is simple. You just uh, you see these fissure, uh, these uh, properties: collision with mice and collision with grounds. Collision with mice means that if this is turned on, mice can touch the ground. If that is turned off, it's like cloud ground. Mice can walk through. Um, the same goes with uh, but. When mice can walk through, uh, I've not turned off the collision with grounds. Now objects like boxes can't go through because they are uh, they are categorized as grounds. And if you want them them to go through and not objects, so uh, if grounds have to go through and mice may not, then now I can't go through, but a box can go through. And the last features, and if you disable all, it's basically a nice background object. Um, you can walk through it and you can make it as big as you want. And yeah, you can fill the whole screen if you want, but it's not advised to do that. Okay, so yeah, it, it's both bad and good that they are there because it will create some luck maps and troll maps. But with the new map system, I think uh, it gets deleted really quickly and because of the rotation is mostly uh, better better maps. Okay, I'll show you some maps I made with this, so uh, you have a bit idea what you can do with this. And uh, this is this is space core I made. You can um, just use this is basically how good you can get with it. And you can also make a lot other art maps, which I've just made another art map. The, a practical use of the foreground of, of the grounds that you can walk through. So now you can go in here and it's a cannon. And uh, let's see if it works. It doesn't work. Yeah, it works. But yeah, you can make all sorts of new things with this, which is fucking awesome. So yeah, we have two new grounds. We don't have new uh, background items. It's okay. We don't need them. Um, there has been some changes to balloons and stuff, so let's go to that. Um, balloons are now uh, do now have a hitbox that means you can touch them with your mice. So, cor if correct, oh no, uh, I have to make it a ghost because it's now turned around. So yeah, 
Now a normal balloon is, uh, you can stand on a normal balloon, which you can use in some of your maps um, if you want. So there is a practical use of this, like you can uh, load up like 40 or 50 balloons or whatever under the map and then unleash them all and put the keys up there and have a nice floating experience. But of course you can also not do that and screw it. So now let's go to the circle again and we're gonna do some booster physics. Um, basically I'm gonna show you a small little booster uh, which uh, I made a while back and never used it and lately it's been a, it's been a bit popular so uh, I've got some questions about it. So let me make it which is not really hard um, and then I'll show you some other great things you can do with the uh, new stuff and yeah um, so let's see when you put a red dot in the middle you get another ground which I for now will just uh, don't use that one cause then I can't see it so I'm going to use a wood ground for now I'm going to place it next to the red dot not on the red dot and make it the heaviest possible and uh, the big round thing you make five times nine and the small block you make six times nine then you add a yellow dot and you add some water and this is basically a really simple booster and I'm gonna put some ground down so you can see let's hide the friction a bit so it pulls me if correct it should work already if not then okay so as you can see the yellow dot is turning the means we're up we've got uh, we got a little turning wheel which is really awesome and other things you can do with this for example let's uh, let's get the color of the background which is six eight seven four nine five um, you can just stop the screen if you want or as you can see you don't now you now don't see the ground so that's uh, one thing so you can make like invisible things but please refrain from invisible maps they are not really loved if you make something that is invisible or a trap then you should make it convenient and possible that you can walk through and so um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the collision with mine so let me duplicate it and give it a nice uh, yellow color no, no let's make the sun let's make the sun yeah let's make the sun that's a good idea and let's place this in front uh, also on the red dot and no collision with mice oh, yeah collision with mice and foreground so if correct this thing should turn but oh well let's see this shouldn't be dynamic actually <laughs> Okay, and also let's make a, a smaller duplicate, like 10 or 20 or something. And let's make this 9999. Okay, and add a yellow dot in the middle. And do this, and let's see what happens. As you can see, you get a really nice, really dangerous turning around thingy, which can smack you up. <laughs> and it's really fun to work with. Um, it's really dangerous. You can make dangerous maps with this if you want. And let's see, let's see if I can get rid of that dot. I don't think I can. Only if I make it foreground. So this should work. Yeah. Now I got rid of the dot. And as you can see, this looks pretty, pretty strange. But it's also really nice. Um. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Um, right glitch still works on these grounds. You can just uh, connect it like this and make it 90 degrees and add a yellow dot here, I think it was. Oh, I misaligned it. <laughs> okay, now it should work. Yeah, as you can see, it still works. Uh, but, but yeah. So you know you can connect it off screen. Uh, also, a tip I can give you guys is when you now make uh, uh, when you now use ripe glitch or something. Let's uh, make a really simple contraption here so I can show you. Uh, if you have no clue what ripe glitch is, you should watch one of my earlier videos. But I'm already planning to make uh, 
a more complicated tutorial on how to make platforms and all that stuff. But I have to prepare that, of course. So, um, let's make a really simple right glitch thingy over here. And, yeah. Oh, shit, I forgot to place the mouse. <laughs> so, yeah. As you can see here, this is a really basic right glitch. You can just walk around with it and do stuff. But, when there's a wall here, and you, for example, control this little cube here, then it will stop. And you don't want this. You want as, at least the least amount of bothersome stuff the plank does. So, now you can just make, uh, remove these uh, properties, and now you can just push it inside a wall. And this is really awesome. Yeah, I've already made another example map, which, let's see, it's this one, I think, yes. And, oh there, yeah, I can't load it with slash mp, this is not my trap house. This also uses a, a certain uh, tactic, like, oh, I'll remove this foreground thingy. Um, yeah, delete. So yeah, um, this is a thing I made, which you have like a box around you which only collides with you and you can just walk through grounds and stuff and it makes it appear as there's a thing around you. The only bad thing about it is mice now have a collision with you and they can push you which is um, pretty bothersome so I didn't make a map with it yet but as you can see it's really nice to have like an, uh, a thing around the shaman then the mice all have to stick around you to see where the things are, but sadly they can collide with the grounds. So yeah, that that's a bad thing. But as you can see, this is uh, also this is just the ground. It's not like uh, this is actually also ground. Let me delete that. And then you get to see that I just have a weird thing around me, which I will give a different color code so you can see. I just have a weird object around me. So yeah, um, the best thing about it is, is probably all the uh, new art maps uh, and dynamic art is now possible. So this is uh, one of my new favorite maps I made, which is uh, drinking a cup of coffee out of an, uh, a really nice mug with a beard and a monocle. So yeah, th this is class. This is class style maps. And I died. Oh well. Um. Yeah. Okay. Any more things I need to go over? Let me check. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me yet again how to make a conveyor ground, and they still don't seem to know. So let me use this really convenient black ground and this really convenient white ground and put. It Put that shit here and put that shit here. Doesn't have to be that long. It can be, it can be 20 years for sure. Um, this you make uh, mass really high, and you make the uh, the fixed rotation one and restitution. You make dots. The same you do for uh, the same restitution thing you do for the thing underneath and for the side as well. And now you have to make sure that this is not touching the wall there and now you get another ground which you probably make 20 by 20 that's the uh, most easy that you know it's going to be good you make the restitution 20 and you make the moss 99999 just the uh, maximum and let's, let's place the mouse here for now and let's see if it already works it does work a bit I still have to add the friction I think Yes, I didn't add the friction yet. So let me make it friction 20. Oh, and now it didn't work. Why does that? I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah, I see what I I see what I forgot. You also have to make the friction on the thing on the bottom zero. Sorry for not mentioning that, but just add it now. So yeah, as you can see, this is a conveyor belt, which can pull you sides. And now you can just hide it. Now, now you can just make like specific racing maps with it, where it's obvious which ground it is. Like, if you introduce a certain concept in a map, like, 
uh, that's a certain tactic people can do like you add something into the map at the beginning which is very simple so you so you have an idea what you can expect later in the map so if you make like a small example of this in the beginning of your map then uh, then if there's more of these people can already know what it is and can use it with well more more an idea what they have to do like if you go into a map and you're like, oh god, I have to get to the cheese, and then whoop, you fly away, and you're like, what, what, why, why? And also, what you can do now is you can obviously uh, make arrows, which, uh, let's do that for a second, you can put like an arrow on here, make collisions, uh, remove collision stuff, oh, I should have carried that, I was supposed to do this, and uh, 45, and duplicate and also 45. Now you have an arrow pointing at which direction it's going, which is really handy. Really handy. Um, I already made arts maps. I told that. Uh, other things you can do with uh, the collision mask thing you remove is. Uh, this is a good example. You can make a ground which goes through stuff, and people have to go through a parkour, which uh, which is pretty neat. I like this map. Uh, if you make something like this, test it in your tribe house with a lot of mice first before um, asking someone to test it, because if you uh, use platforms, they will lag out for some people. I, I made this platform lag free with using the um, it's a water platform which are the most laggy by the way um, this is the stuff off screen I've used a uh, platform and I used res restitution dots which means this ground just like the conveyor just now uh, gets pushed gets pulled towards that ice so it can't fall off the right which happens if there's lag for other people so uh, the the difference between a normal water elevator and this one is that this one uh, doesn't matter who's the sink the ground will go for that person the same way so it doesn't teleport that much basically and you don't want teleporting uh, grounds uh, which then people get mad because they die and lose and it, it's not really fun to play then uh, if you constantly die uh, also um, I think I will end it here now. I will load a nice map, which I'm probably going to do a skull map. Skull map it is. Uh, I'm going to load the skull map. Um, I've already made a bunch of art maps. Uh, I've made art speed, um, speed up footage. If you want me making more of those, I don't know if people really like them. Um, if you do want more of my speed maps, like me making uh, maps fast, it doesn't have to be art. It can also be normal maps. Um, but you have just to tell me if that's a good idea. If you like it, I've already made three. Probably make a lot more because they are really simple to make. I just turn uh, the footage thing on, say something for like one second, and then I can export it. And I enjoy that. And I'd ho and if you enjoy it, then I can just uh, keep doing it. And you have to just tell me. And if you have more questions about map making, uh, I will probably come up with a lot of new things in the near future. I've already found some things, but I still want to test them first before I'm sharing them. Because, yeah, sync based stuff. And also, I have a new. I found a ground which has uh, two locations, one for the shaman and one for the mice. Basically it is a rotated different, so you can make like a shaman only gate or a mouse only gate. And yeah, it's really useful. I've shared it with some map makers and I will probably make a tutorial on it later. Not later like this week, but later sometime when it's uh, already awesome. So yeah. Um, tell me what you like of this update, uh, if there's any problems, and if if you have any questions, you can ask them on the forums or on YouTube. 
Um, thank you for watching. This was Impure Death, and I hope you have a nice day.